Four years, Russia has teased the world with a ghost, a jet said to fly faster than Mach 4, touch the edge of space, and hunt hypersonic missiles. It's called the MiG-41, or as Moscow brands it, PAKDP, the prospective air complex for long-range interception. But here's the question. Is this Russia's next-generation interceptor, or just another fantasy designed to impress TV audiences and boost morale during sanctions and war fatigue? Segment 1. The Legend of Speed. To understand the MiG-41 myth, you need to go back to the Cold War. In the 1960s, the Soviets built the MiG-25 Foxbat, capable of Mach 3.2, almost as fast as the State Route 71 Blackbird. It could shoot down high-speed American aircraft, even missiles. Then came the MiG-31 Foxhound, stronger, faster, and smarter, an interceptor designed to protect Russia's massive airspace from bombers and cruise missiles. It was the guardian of the Arctic skies. And now, decades later, Russia claims the MiG-41 will be its ultimate successor, capable of flying at Mach 4.3, reaching 50,000 meters, and even fighting in near space. Segment 2. The announcements that never end. But the MiG-41 story is full of announcements. Each few years, Russian state TV brings the project back to life. In 2018, MiG's CEO said, this is not a mythical project. In 2021, it was said to be in formal development. And now in 2025, again, retired Major General Vladimir Popov claims the jet's appearance is finalized and a first flight will happen soon. The problem? There's no prototype, no engine, and no proof of progress. Just a cycle of recycled renderings and recycled timelines. Even Russian media admit it, much of this is about image management, not engineering. Segment 3. Tech Claims vs. Reality On paper, the MiG-41 sounds like a sci-fi monster. Speed, Mach 4.3. Ceiling, 50 km. Range, 11,000 km. Roll, destroy stealth jets, intercept hypersonic missiles, even attack satellites. But engineers say, these specs are physically extreme. At Mach 4, aircraft surfaces face temperatures over 600 degrees Celsius, demanding exotic materials like titanium and carbon composites, which Russia can't easily source under current sanctions. The Su-57 stealth jet, Russia's fifth-gen project, already faced these problems, with reports of jets delivered without key targeting systems and production limited to under 20 aircraft. If Moscow can't mass-produce a stealth fighter, how will it build a Mach 4 space interceptor? Segment 4, what it might actually be. If the MiG-41 ever becomes real, it will likely be an evolution, not a revolution. Think of a super-upgraded MiG-31, built to fly higher and faster, with new radar, improved R-37M or K-77-meter missiles, and partial stealth shaping. Its job wouldn't be dogfighting, it would be long-range interception, a defensive guardian for Russia's northern skies, not a global strike fighter like the F-35 or NGAD. In short, an ultra-fast, high-altitude interceptor, not a true sixth-generation multi-role fighter. Segment 5, the strategic story behind it. There's also a political layer here. Whenever the US or China unveils progress on next-gen fighters, Moscow responds with its own answer. But often, these announcements serve more to project strength than reflect reality. Defense Express calls it, motivated by image management. Because in today's Russia, perception is power, even if the jet only exists in renderings. Segment 6, Myth or Miracle. The MiG-41 might someday take flight, as a testbed, or even a limited prototype. But for now, it remains a story, not a machine. A symbol of what Russia wants to build, not what it can build. Like the MiG-25 of the Cold War, it embodies ambition. But unlike the Foxbat, this one may never leave the runway. Until the hardware appears, the MiG-41 remains more narrative than airplane. A reminder that Russia's aerospace ambitions still outpace its industrial reality. What do you think? Is the MiG-41 the future of air combat, or just vaporware dressed as vision? Let me know in the comments.